Oh God, that's so pretty. Wow. Wow, this might be my new favorite blush. This is so pretty. It's a really exciting day because my Makeup by Mario box finally arrived in the mail, which means I'm going to sit down and do an entire face using pretty much all Makeup by Mario. So let's get right into it. But before I get into this look, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss my future videos. So now let's just take everything out of this box because I know there are some things that I purchased as gifts. So if you watched my Makeup by Mario shopping haul video, you'll know what I'm talking about. I purchased a couple things like for my sister that she really wanted. So there's a couple extra things in here that I'm not gonna be using for this makeup look. So I'm just gonna take everything out. And get it all situated in front of me. I really like his packaging. I love the matte black. It's so, it's so, um, it's so cool. Okay, I have a lot of stuff in here. It's very deceiving. Like there's a lot of stuff in this box. Oh yeah, I got the brow pencil. I'm really excited to do, or to use that brow pencil. Okay, that's everything. Now, let me just open up this ethereal eyes palette. I can't wait to create an eye makeup look with this palette. I'm so excited for that. I'm actually just gonna open up right now and just kind of get everything, like I said, like in front of me and get, get everything organized so I can create. Okay, please don't be broken. Please, okay, perfect. Here it is. It's so pretty. Like this is such a beautiful palette. And I really appreciate that there's a slight mix of cool and warm tones in it. It's a pretty neutral palette. So if you want something that has like a little bit of both, this is a great palette. So I also got soft brown eyeliner, which I'm excited for because I've never used this shade from Makeup by Mario. I've always used, oh yeah, it comes with a sharpener. I kind of need a new one. I've only ever used the, the perfect brown, which is a dark brown. But this is really pretty and I think it's gonna remind me a lot of Costa Riche from MAC, which I use all the time. I got Milk Chocolate Lip Liner. Oh yeah, oh, that's gonna be really pretty. This kind of reminds me of Foxy Brown from Charlotte Tilbury, which I use all the time. I got the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. This is the powder. I also have the cream, which I use all the time. I have two of those. I have one in my kit that I use professionally and I have one for like my personal use. But this is the powder version, which I've never tried. I've only ever swatched it. So I'll be using this like pretty light handedly because it is a little bit deeper, obviously than what I should have gone for for my skin tone. But if you watched my haul, there was a reason for that. I really wanted that in my makeup kit. <laughs> So I kind of, I didn't want to buy two. I already bought, I bought so much stuff. Like you should see this pile of stuff that's in front of me. I have a lot of stuff and I didn't want to go, you know, I didn't want to like really break the bank. So don't judge me. I, I forget what this is called. This is the master eye prep and set. It's basically like everything you need to prep and set your eyes, like your eyelids before you put on your eye makeup. This is such a cool, like pro, like this is such a pro, makeup artist thing to come up with. I feel like this is like just screams pro makeup artist created this line. Like this right here is just very, very, very cool. So I got really excited for these. I got two of each of these lip kits. There are the nude or pink nude. I got two pink nudes and I got two mauve nudes. One is for me, one's for my sister. I'm gonna put that aside for her. I also, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna get, end up giving her this mauve glow um, cause I don't think I'm gonna use it for this tutorial. Maybe I will, I'll just, I'll put in the maybe. Maybe I'll use it. I'm just thinking I wanna do like more of a matte lip. So I don't think I'm gonna put that on top. I don't really feel like, I'm not feeling like a glossy lip look. So, oh, wait a minute, am I missing something? No, I'm not, sorry. Okay, phew. I don't know why, I thought I bought three cream blushes, but I only bought two. Maybe I decided to be frugal at the last minute and put one back, but I got Dusty Rose, which looks stunning. Oof, Dusty Rose. This is gonna be so beautiful. And I got Earthy Pink, which I'm really, really excited for. 
Okay. Let's open up earthy pink. Oh, so that's earthy pink. I don't know which one I'm going to go with. I really don't. But I feel like I'm going to go with mauve nude for my lip combo, like when I get to my lips. So I also got the Master Blade Brow Pencil. Can't wait to try this. Really, really excited for this. And last but not least, I got the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. It's like their, it's like his bronzer stick, um, cream bronzer stick. I love this. I've used this many, many times in my, I use it in my makeup kit. I don't have one for myself. So I'm, I'm very happy to have one finally for myself. This is a really great neutral color. Medium is like a perfect shade. If you're my skin tone, a little bit darker or a little bit lighter, this is a really good like bronzing stick. So now that I have everything in front of me, and of course, just a reminder, he doesn't have foundation. He doesn't have concealer. He doesn't have um, setting powders. So, or mascara, does he have mascara? No, he does not have mascara or setting spray. So I have a couple things like lined up that I'm gonna use with this look that I've already picked out. So I'm actually gonna do a quick amount of foundation just to get me started. I'm gonna use the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I love this. I use the shade 230 Light Medium Cool. So using the A58 brush from Makeup by Ariel, I'm gonna start to just, just get my skin going. My skin's obviously prepped underneath with all my lotions and potions. If you wanna see what I use for skin prep, I do have I do have a few videos on my channel that you can check out. The most recent one was, I just did like a quick, during my review of the House Labs foundation I'm using right now, I did a quick little morning skincare routine just to like prep my skin before I actually tried that foundation. And that's that's fully in a video. You can check it out. You can see like what I use and how I prep my skin if you wanna if you wanna check that out. Or if you've wondered what I use. Feeling a lot better. <laughs> Feeling more like myself. And if you're sitting at home and you're wondering why my eyebrows look especially bad, look really, really bad. It's because I did it on purpose. Despite what I wanted to do, which was start this video with my brows like perfected and, and fully on, which is what I like to do. For the sake of this video, because I bought a brow pencil, I felt like I couldn't really do that. So my brows look horrendous. They're going, like I, like I said, they're going through this, they're, they're having a moment in time where they're just, they're struggling in life. They're really, really struggling in life. But the tail is like not drawn in like it normally is. I barely have a little bit of like tinted brow gel just brushed up like very haphazardly. So what I wanna do before I get the rest of my makeup going is I wanna focus on my brows. So I'm gonna start with the brow, Master Blade Brow Pencil in brown black. I got that open. So you just, they use this little like love. Oh, oh, that went up fast. Oh, okay. It's retractable. Like it actually goes back down. Nice. That, see, again, I'm telling you, you could tell that a pro makeup artist made this line because there's so many things that like I really, really appreciate about his products. And this is one of them. Like the fact that this pencil goes up and down so you don't end up pushing too much up and then breaking it off and then wasting your money. You know, because we only have like brow pencils. <sighs> They go through, like you go through them very quickly. Like they're not long lasting. Anyway, before I do my brows, since I have a ton of skincare on underneath my brow and I have oily skin, my brows are just really shiny. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of loose powder from Laura Mercier. You know, I haven't used this in a long time. In fact, I should probably check how old this is, but um, I just, I ran into it in my stash of makeup that's around me and I thought, I should, I, there's only a little bit left. I need to like just use it up so I can feel good about getting rid of it, you know? But anyway, I'm gonna just use some of this powder with a fluffy blending brush from BK Beauty and I'm going to push this into my brows, mattifying them, which is a great trick if you have oily skin like me and you want and you need to draw on an entire brow like me do this before you go in with your brow pencil because your brow pencil will actually stick to your skin. Now, if you have oily skin and you just try to go in without doing this and you try to like fill them in with a pencil, chances are that it's not gonna go on very pigmented. It's gonna go on too, it's gonna go like slip on your skin instead of just like actually depositing 
a good amount of color. So if you have oily skin, try that trick, try that technique, it's a game changer. Okay, so now I'm just gonna lift that up a little bit more, start to fill these in. Huh, okay, let's do the tail first. Oh, it's very powdery. I mean, I know I'm putting it on top of powdered skin, but I can tell that's like a more powdered formula, which is nice. Like it's not like super waxy, like a lot of brow pencils are really waxy. And I'm just gonna try to draw my brows straight, straight out towards my temple. I'm not sure what that clicking sound is, but. Nice little brush. Brush that through a little bit. Well, I'm really glad that I got this color because it's actually showing up super, super natural. I mean, it might not on camera. It's in person right now, it's showing up pretty soft and natural. So it's a good, I made a good decision with this brow color. All right, that side is good enough for now. I'll probably go back over them at some point before I'm done with this tutorial and just like fine tune. But I just want to get like a, I wanted to establish the overall shape of them before I went in with the, like whatever eye makeup I was going to do. Sometimes that's really helpful if you ever like feeling lost or you want like, you know, a good road roadmap for the rest of your eye makeup to go on. Start with a little bit of face, like makeup, like your base, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then do your brows and get them like at least roughly shaped. And that's a good solid roadmap for whatever you're gonna create to go on top. Let's leave the brows alone for a minute and let's move on to a product that I have not even swatched or touched ever, um, which I'm surprised about because I've always been curious about this. It's the Master Mats, or sorry, Master Eye Prep and Set in Medium. So he makes three shades in these, which is great. There's a light, there's a medium, and then there's a dark. And um, I think I made the right decision with this one. Even though I know my eyelids look like Casper, I think this is gonna be a good, a good one for me. Okay, so you basically just get two, I'm just gonna warm these up really quick. You get two different tones. You get a light within the palette. You get a light and a medium. So I'm gonna use that light one first to just kind of carve out my brows. And for that, I'll use a Zoeva. This is a 233 cream shader, which is perfect for this type of formula. I'm gonna get a good amount on my brush. So this is nothing new that you've never seen me do on my channel. I do this all the time just with like either cream concealers or even liquid concealers. So again, like that's why I, more the point of like why I say like, this is such a pro product that's on the market. It's so, such a cool idea. It's something I would utilize that I do utilize just in an actual like compact form, if that makes sense. Just bringing it all the way out. We'll blend out the rest of that later. So what's funny is I do this, this is something I don't skip. I do this on all of my clients when I'm working professionally. And what I actually use when I'm like working on my makeup kit is I love the NARS soft matte concealers. They come in like a little jar. I also love, of course, like I have a couple concealer palettes, like little cream concealer palettes. I use those to do this exact same effect. So it's kind of cool. Like I would, in theory, I would put this in my makeup kit, but I'll probably just keep this for myself completely because I just use concealers in my kit to do the same thing. So I'm gonna switch to a Sephora 19 brush and I'm going to dip into the deeper shade in this palette. And I'm gonna use this as a, a pre eyeshadow contour basically on my eyes just to shade them and slightly sculpt them. It's not going to be super dramatic because it's not that much of a deeper tone than the one I just used, but it is going to give me a little, a little hint of something. Okay. Now that that is blended on, I'm going to use the powder that comes in the palette and just grabbing a fluffy brush. This is from NYX. It's just a number eight brush, number 16 brush. I'm just going to use this to set these creams. So let's move on to pretty much what is the star of the show, which is the palette. It's the Ethereal Eyes palette. Let's open this up one more time. Now that we're actually ready to use it, we'll check it out. We'll take it in in all its glory before I go in and dip my brushes in there and probably my fingers as well and I mess it up. But I mean, hopefully I'm not gonna mess up too much. I've never used this on myself. I have used this a couple times on my client. And I'm gonna dip in first with this shade right here. It's always good to start out with a nice neutral transitional shade. Just gonna pop that in the crease. And blend it all the way out towards my temple. I'm gonna follow the sh same shape that I just created with the eye base, like the primer. I'll be following that with my shadow as well. This formula, like these shadows are so incredibly 
easy to blend. They go on like a dream. There's a little bit of a kick, kick back or kick up, whatever you call it, when you dip your brush into the palette, but that's pretty normal. It's not like anything to write home about. So the formula is pretty, pretty incredible. I'm not gonna lie, this formula is amazing. I feel like there's a lot of people that I overheard or have seen online complain about the price. The palette's $68. But you know, ultimately it comes down to like, you get what you pay for. And this is an incredible palette. Like you can tell the formulas are very expensive and they're probably really expensive to make. And everything about this palette just is top quality. Yeah, it's not the cheapest palette, but do you really want the cheapest palette? Like, you know, I don't know, it's just something to think about. I, I'm just surprised at like how many people I've seen talking about how, or complaining about the price of the palette. I'm just surprised. I don't think it's bad at all. I think if it was any less, I'd be like wondering and questioning the formulas and wondering like, how are they able to make such a great palette so cheap? It's just food for thought, that's all. This shadow, this color in particular is so pretty. So I'm gonna go in with the Refer 01 brush. I'm gonna dip into this kind of soft smoky gray. Oh, this color is so pretty, oh my God. I'm applying it all over my eyelid and I'm softly blending it into the crease just so it can meet with that other first shade that we blended all across the crease. Going back to the NYX brush and that same first shade that I used, I'm just gonna go back over the crease just in the crease and just tightly blend the two shadows together. Now picking up a clean 227 Lux Crease Brush from Zueva, I'm gonna dip into this darker brown right below that gray and just start to intensify the crease. Okay, these eyeshadows are alarmingly easy to work with. I don't see any, I don't see any fallout on my face. You know what else is easy about them too, is they're actually, they're a little more on the sheer side. If you have a shadow formula, that's a little more sheer, even like with blush, like blush especially. If your blush is a little more on the sheer side, it's so much more user friendly. So I think it's, I think it's really nice for that reason. Like I don't mind that it's like sheer and buildable. You kind of get the best of both worlds when that's the, the case. Okay, so just blending that in the crease, buffing away, just trying to create that depth in the socket of my eye. Now I'm gonna throw one more color in the crease using that same NYX brush. I'm gonna dip into this soft, like mauve rose shade. I'm gonna tap off the excess and I just wanna do a little sweep of this into the crease. Just gonna add a little more depth dimension. And obviously since it's more of like a warm tone, it's gonna add a rosy warm tone to my crease. This would be such a good bridal eyeshadow palette. Like back when I did weddings full time, like this would have been on heavy rotation for me, for sure. So let's move on to eyeliner. So as I mentioned, I got the soft brown liner. I'm gonna start to line my top lash line with this liner. Now taking one of my favorite smudger brushes this is from Zueva, it's a 226 smudger. I'm gonna smudge out this liner before I go in and set it. I love this brown so much. Wow. And let's do this eye. Grab that brush again to smudge the side out. So going back to my palette, I'm gonna use the darker brown on the top right, same brush. So what this is gonna do is, of course, it's going to set that eyeliner in place. Even though I know that formula from Makeup by Morrow, that pencil does not move. It's so long wearing, it's like incredible. But it's still gonna set it so it really locks into place, but it's also gonna smudge it out and give it more of like a smoky effect, which is what I was going for. So it's kind of doing two things at once. It's gonna look messy at first, don't worry. I'm gonna, of course, clean the edge up as soon as I'm done blending away. And now dipping into that last deepest shade in the palette, I'm gonna take a little bit and then run it on the very top lash line, just for some added depth. I'm grabbing a Q-tip, micellar water. I'm gonna clean up the edge of my liner and create my perfected wing.
Okay, now let's go with the fun part of this eye makeup. Like this, it's already been fun, right? But it's gonna get really, really fun because I'm going to top my eyes with one of these ridiculously stunning, more metallic shimmery shades. So I'm actually just gonna use this one right here, the center shade. It's a little bit on my finger. I'm gonna pop that just in the center of my eyelid with my fingertip. little goes a long way. Lightly blend it around just a little bit. Now let's dip into one more light one. And I'm using my fingertip because, you know, shadows like this, they actually go on the best with the warmth of your fingertip. You'll have a lot less fallout and in my opinion, you'll have more control as well. Okay, moving on to mascara. I don't have a Make by Mara mascara. He does not have one. So I'm gonna use one of my favorites. It's MAC in Extreme Dimension mascara. One coat of mascara is on and now I'm gonna put on half of one of these lashes. They're the Ardell 420 lashes. They're really soft, they're really wispy. I love this lash so much. So I'm just gonna take one. I'm just gonna cut it in half. And then taking my duo glue and some tweezers, I'm going to just place the half lash on either end of my lashes. Now let's just finish up the face so we can get into the rest of the fun products, which I have right here and I cannot wait to pop on my face. So I'm gonna use my one of my own concealers. It's the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer in the shade 2N. Cover up that pimple I have it showed up for this shoot. Bring it down my nose. Bring it on the top of my chin. And I was starting to blend it out with a Makeup Revolution brush that I've had for a long time. It's a drugstore brush. Okay, now time to sculpt using the Soft Sculpt Bronzing Stick. So I'm gonna use a Sephora 56 brush to just work that product into the bristles. So I'm gonna start with my, my hairline. I'm just start to give like my, my forehead like some warmth and contour at the same time. And just sculpting underneath my cheekbones. And then with whatever's left over, I'm gonna blend it back towards my ear and straight down my jawline and then sweep it underneath my jaw. And then same thing. Connect it, bring it down my jaw, underneath my chin. Just for a really, really soft sculpted effect. <laughs> And I'm gonna switch my brush. Switching to an Angie Hot and Flashy A501 brush. This is a BK Beauty brush. I'm gonna dip into that same product and start to sculpt and shade the side of my nose just for a nice natural contour effect. This brush makes it extremely easy to create a nose contour. So if you're looking for a good nose contour brush, this is like the perfect size density and also will blend it out for you too. So it makes it really easy. I'm gonna go across the bridge of my nose and then I'm gonna take that same brush, same product, and do one of my favorite things in life in makeup, which is contouring my lips. Okay, now we're gonna do a baby set on my under eyes. And then the reason for that is because I'm gonna go in with my cream blushes right after, but I don't want my concealer to crease anymore while I'm doing that. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of my Laura Mercier powder dump it into my cap, take a really small powder puff. This one's from Givenchy, any powder puff will do. You know, I love my Amazon ones. I'm gonna take a small amount of this powder, work it into my hand, and I'm going to push it up and into the inner part of my eye right here. I'm also gonna set my forehead because I'm done with my cream products on my forehead. So I'm gonna actually go in and set it. And press it in. Now on to blush. I'm so excited for Dusty Rose. This this is the one I'm gonna go with. I'm not gonna go with Earthy Pink. It's a little too, 
Uh, I just, I'm really just feeling this. I feel like this is gonna be more the vibe for this makeup look. So I'm not gonna directly apply it to my skin. Instead, I'm going to tap the product and work it into one of my favorite BK Beauty brushes. This is the 106 brush. I use this brush for almost everything. Like when it's clean, which it's clean right now, I use it for almost everything. Cream bronzer, powder, loose powder, liquids. I mean, literally anything. So I'm just gonna start to, ooh, God, that's so pretty. Wow. Hmm. Wow, this might be my new favorite blush. This is so pretty. That was incredibly easy to blend on. But I'm telling you, I, a, a lot of it has to do with this brush. This brush makes it, this brush makes it so unbelievably easy to blend and apply at the same time. Hmm. Okay, and the glow that this blush gives is stunning. Wow. Okay, this is like my new favorite blush. Take a teeny bit, teeny bit on the top of my nose. And it's really just whatever's left over on my brush, which is like nothing, just tapping on that excess, just for like a little, very natural wash of color across my nose. And that's a great way to tie the rest of your makeup in so it's like not so disjointed and it just kind of connects and it's it like blends together and it's just more nice and cohesive. Okay, blush is done. That was fun and simple and very easy. Okay, now on to the powder soft sculpt transforming skin perfector. I have the shade medium dark because so I'm just gonna use this really sparingly and using another BK Beauty brush. This is a 107, it's slightly larger and more fluffy than the 106 I just used. And I'm gonna just Work it into all the colors. Tap off the excess. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay, that's beautiful. So I'm using the very top, which is like more of like a highlighter. And just press it onto the highest point of my cheekbone. Oof, it's like a golden highlight. It's like a really pretty golden highlight. This is so pretty, but definitely going straight into my makeup kit because I will use this like crazy. Okay, that is done. We're gonna move on. Finally, we're gonna move on to the bottom lash line. I have not finished that yet. I usually finish that after, of course, you know, my concealer is on and my eyes are set. So let's now go back to that soft brown pencil. I'm gonna line completely my bottom lash line. And now before the side dries down too much, I'm gonna use a Angie Hot and Flashy from BK Beauty. It's the A504 brush. Just sweep this back and forth. Now going back to the palette, same brush. I'm gonna dip into this medium tone brown. This brown's so pretty. And now with a clean blending brush, this one's from Morphe. It's a really, really old brush. Label is rubbed off, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna dip into that top shade that we used originally and a teeny bit of that more pink mauve tone and go right over the bottom just to further blend out this bottom lash line. And then lastly, I'm just going to clean up and kind of cut my contour and bring it out even more with a little bit of loose powder. Time to complete my mascara on my bottom lashes.
Okay, we're gonna go back to the palette one last time and be using a clean, <laughs> I have a, a couple of these. It's a clean A504 brush from BK Beauty. I'm going to use this soft beige tone. And just blend that along the side of my tear duct. Okay, so we're on to lips. We're almost there. I'm going to use the Morrow's Lip Lift Kit in Mauve Nude. I think this is gonna be the best option for this, this makeup look. I wanna keep it more like the dusty mauve earth tone. I don't want to be too pink like the other one's more like a pink, but how cute. How cute are these minis? Like these are adorable. I love mini items. Like I love my like mini Charlotte Tilbury powders. I love mini lipsticks. Like they just, they're so cute and they fit so good in your purse. Oh, but this is what I appreciate. Okay. It's a mini size, but it's not a mini bullet lipstick. It's like, you know, a normal size lipstick in a mini container. Way better, way, way better. Okay, so I'm gonna line my lips first using, this is the shade Smoky Pink, which I've actually wanted this lip liner from Makeup by Mario for like, honestly, like the last year at least, and it's always sold out. It's always, always sold out. So I'm so thrilled. Mini or not, I'm so thrilled to finally have it in my possession. So of course I'm gonna start by just cutting straight across my cupid's bow. What you may or may not realize is by filling in your cupid's bow and going straight across it basically, it's actually going to give you the illusion of a lifted top lip. So I get a lot of, not heat, but um, I get a lot of people that are, are angry about like on Instagram, not on YouTube, but more on Instagram. Like lately, it seems like I've got a lot of people messaging me and just not enjoying the fact that I don't I don't draw in my cupid's bow. Like I don't make it sharp and defined. And like, this is where like makeup is like, it's not a one size fits all. Like it's to each their own, truly. And this is how I prefer my lips to look. I think it looks more like, just like soft and more youthful. Like when I draw in my lips or if I were to draw in my lips, like sharp and define my cupid's bow, I would look really, really harsh. And I'm not going for that. So if you're one of the people that have, have followed me on Instagram and see me do this all the time, this explanation is more for you. Um, I just think it's a more flattering way for me to fill in my lips and to line my lips personally. But again, to each their own. If you don't like it, don't do it. You know, make it just personal. Liner is done. Time for lipstick. Oh, and this is the shade. Aaron. Mm. Wow. I have to say, I love his lipstick formula so much. It's like a really creamy and thin feeling matte lipstick. It doesn't feel like thick and heavy and like dry and chalky. All things you don't want your lipstick to do or be. so pretty. Honestly, I'm like fangirling so hard right now over Makeup by Mario. Like, I didn't, I know his stuff is amazing, but it really took me to sit down and use like an entire face worth of products from Makeup by Mario to like really fully understand how incredible he is. And like the, his products are just, they're phenomenal. I'm blown away. I think this might be my favorite full face of one brand I've done so far. I haven't done that many, but like the ones I've done, I've loved so much, but this one definitely takes a cake for me. Like, leave me a comment. You have to let me know just so far, like what have you enjoyed the most? Like as far as full faces go, is it the Makeup by Mario? Is it the Charlotte Tilbury? Is it the Elf? Like those are all so fun. And I love them so much in the moment, but I am so wowed by everything I put on my face from Makeup by Mario that I'm just like, this is like my, I, this might be my favorite brand right now, honestly. I'm like geeking out over it. So good, so, so good. <sighs> There's one thing I need to fix on my face because something happened somewhere along, along the lines of this makeup application and I have a little patch just right here. 
I think I like smudged my face or something. I need to fix that really quick or try to. The last step on this journey that we're gonna take is not a Makeup by Mario product, I wish it was, but I'm just gonna set my face really quick with the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. This is one of my favorite sprays at the moment. I have a lot of favorite ones, but this one's just been really nice. And that completes this full face using only Makeup by Mario. I had so much fun creating this look for you all. This is such a beautiful glam look. I, I love doing looks like this. This is like my favorite kind of makeup to do. And honestly, this might be my favorite look I've done on my channel so far. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you want to see more makeup looks and more makeup tips and tutorials, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at makeup by Nikki LaRose. I'm also on TikTok under the same name. And if you want to see another full face of one makeup brand, you can check out my Charlotte Tilbury one right here. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.